All right, this here is my 1984 Chevy Citation X11. Um, it was, I acquired this car by um, a gentleman, a uh, customer of the business I work at, was, uh, did not want it anymore. He was gonna give it to the junkyard. And uh, he found out that I like older cars. Um, so he decided to give it to me instead. Um, initially it was going to be for free, but I couldn't accept a running, driving car for free. So I gave him all the money I had in my pocket at the time, which was $60. Uh, it needed a lot of work to the engine and to the interior. It needed new tires. The old tires were so bad that they were actually, um, the sidewalls were chipping off like, uh, like driftwood it they were they were bad um they were they weren't even savable by any extent of the word so i replaced the tires um uh but that's all I, all the money i really spent on it um it needed carb work so i fixed the carb to the best of my abilities it's a weird carburetor i'd never seen before so i didn't really uh rebuild it fully entirely I didn't even take the air horn off I just kind of messed with the screws and, and cleaned it and uh, and now it runs pretty dang good the choke does not work I can't get the choke to work um, it's electric but it won't it won't engage or disengage so it's unplugged and it's uh, set to uh, very warm so it won't engage on me um, so the idle does idle pretty high but uh, just to keep it running um, so it won't die when you put it in gear. Other than that, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, I use this car as a beater, a backup car um, when my Oldsmobile main daily won't start uh, when it's very cold or if it's having some kind of issue or if it's in the shop for whatever reason, I'll use this. Um, I also use this car when it's uh, extremely frigid cold, uh, sub-zero temperatures below um, zero, negative 10 negative 20 because it does have a block heater um, to so I can start it up easier and it has working heat the Oldsmobile heat is a uh, mediocre at best it heats you up just enough to not be cold but it also doesn't heat you up enough to actually be warm so this car I use in the cold temperatures for that reason I also use it when I go to the junkyard when I go to the brush dump when I go um, pretty much anywhere that I wouldn't want to take my car my nicer cars. I use this pile of crap. Um, uh, yeah, nothing else more to tell about the outside. Um, it is an X11 package, so it has the uh, hood scoop and this crappy spoiler in the back um, and these sport mirrors instead of uh, the chrome ones. It's got these aluminum uh, alloy wheels instead of the steels. Um, it's got your high output V6, it only makes 115 horsepower, and it's slower than shit, but it's, uh, it says high output, so whatever, I guess. Um, it's got this front spoiler, or ground effect, whatever you want to call it, um, that's also part of the X11 package. Most X11s had a custom paint job on them and they were two door only as well. It would say X11 on the door here and there'd be two stripes that would go along the side of the whole car. This one doesn't have that, um, but it is an X11 nonetheless. It says it right on the VIN. Um, but without further ado, let's start this thing here. It's got split bench seats with a center console an armrest, so that's pretty cool. Um, power windows, which I wish it didn't have, but it is what it is. It's got rear defrost. Um, nothing else really. It's just a little economy car. There's nothing really um, special in here. Um, it does have the aftermarket fog lights, which is what that switch is right there. Um, it's, uh, it's got aftermarket temp gauge over here next to the uh, climate controls. And then the ignition is switched and the electric cooling fan is switched. Uh, of course, um, at the radio, which I put in um, down there. And um, yeah, nothing else really 
to tell in here. It had cruise control, but it doesn't work anymore, so that's turned off. Tilt steering wheel. So let's start this thing here. Like I said, there's no choke, so it doesn't um doesn't really. Uh, let me see if I can turn the steering wheel so I don't have to deal with going over the steering. Um, kind of have to. Give it plenty of gas here. Ignition on. Okay. It's running. It's got the original muffler on it, and it's louder than shit, so I don't know what to do about that. There's no exhaust leaks, I've checked. Um, turn that off. But yeah, it actually handles surprisingly, or not handles, it actually rides surprisingly well. I wouldn't know about handling because I've never driven a car that handles what most people consider good in their entire life, or my entire life. Um, but it, it can corner pretty fast without having a very much body roll, which I guess is good if you're into that kind of thing. Um, but uh, it, it rides fairly well considering what kind of car this is. It's not bumpy or, or painful to my back or spine or neck in any way like a lot of lower end cars I've driven are. Um, garbage out of here. It's got little cubbies. This was factory. There's no lid to this. Got a little deal in here, a little tray. Armrest. And then the previous owner added this cup holder. It's made out of, uh, I don't know, some kind of plastic and a vacuum line that he split and put around the edges like a trim. It's kind of neat, I guess. Um, so now it's just running under its own power. I don't have my foot on the gas anymore. It's running fairly high idle, but uh, it is what it is. I'm gonna put that like that so I don't have the sun in my eyes. And uh, in the gear here. go that's Chevy citation for you remote mirror driver side passenger side does not have a remote control so you have to do it manually which sucks no power locks it's just manual and it's these stupid ass ones you don't have the pull thing over here it's just this one right in here which I don't like. I never use them. They're very difficult to to switch on and off. Um, but yeah, there you go. So there's a little walk around for you. Um, I figured I'd do it since I get a fair bit of attention on this car on this channel for some reason. And there have been other people um, in my life who have asked about it. And I don't have any videos on it really. So that's what this video is for is so I can send people this link and they can watch it and uh, see what this car is all about but uh, there you go see you in the next one